morning, guys and girls. Here we are again. It's a lovely crisp Saturday morning down on a place called Ogmore by Sea. A little bit of a wind behind me. Hopefully it's not interfering too much with the GoPro. Ogmore is not a place where I fish regular. I'm probably talking in over 30 years I've probably fished this about no more than 10 times and Ogmore Deeps over to the left probably the same no more than 10 times you've got Porth Call Pier and Newton Point on the right hand side of me in the background and you've got Og obviously you've got Ogmore Deeps and then you've got Witches Point then you've got Monk Nash Nash Point Lound to it etc we're down here today for two reasons, or well, three reasons actually. One of them is try and catch fish. The second one, we got a very bitter, horrible 20 mile an hour northeasterly wind, which is off your back. And number three, I want to try and catch double shots of fish. Now, what I mean by that is, I'm today, I'm leaving the pulley rigs and the 5 O's in the box. I've come down with 3 O hooks, 2 O hooks, fishing 2 O clip downs. Beefed up clip downs, 100 pound rig body, 60 pound snuds. Yeah, these rods have been out for a half hour now. Um, I got 2 O clip downs, as I said, single sand or squid wrap on each. Quite a bit of weed coming through at the moment, but I'm having some positive pull downs, which I don't, I'm not sure if it's weed or if it's fish. So because I got two hooks, two single hooks on the rig, I don't want to jump onto the onto the bike straight away. I want to let it develop because the plan today is to hopefully get two rays on one rig. It's just got light. I should say these have been out for about a half hour. I got down here about 45 minutes ago. It's nice and quiet. There's two anglers up to my left, about 300 yards away. So I've got plenty of space. We've got Ogmore River Mount. About two to 300 yards to my right. And because of all the rain we've had, it just washes all the grass, all the debris, all the weed, all the leaves, everything down the river to where we're fishing. Well, there's going to be periods today where the weed is going to be absolutely horrendous. So we're just going to have to fish through it. But hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get a fish for you. Nice and simple. Three foot long. So on this one i got sand eel squid wrap. On the top one, I got sandy and bluey wrap. 100 pound rig body, 60 pound snuds. Nice and simple. Six, oh, yeah, that's another thing, six ounce leads. Because there's not much tide here. Um, and it's not really heavy fishing. I didn't want to go in with sevens and eights. They're in the box, just in case. But I borrowed a 10 six ounce yesterday of a mate. Well, I didn't borrow them, he'd give them to me. So. See what happened? I'm pretty sure it'll be alright. Another reason why I'm using six ounce is because I got crimps on the rig, even though it's a hundred pound. Um, because I'm gonna be repet you know using the same rig for the next seven to eight hours. I don't want to get it weaker. So anything that I could do to make it safe, dropping down a lead size. Um, so be it. So come tangle up. Yes. Yes. Ow. Long sharp. Yeah, the hook choice today is 3 old BMX. 
I've got a couple of rigs made up of two O's just in case. Because I don't get in late every night with Kian to like 9, 10 o'clock. The last two evenings I've been up to like 1 o'clock in the morning making tour put downs. I got ready-made ones from uh, VMO, but they're a lot lighter. They're like a size two ox and 20, 30 pound snuts. Bait of choice today. Right bait sand eel, right bait bluey, right bait squid. Nice and simple. Off there. I don't know if you've heard it on camera. Yeah. Got a surface right out there. It's a bit tangled in the middle. A nice little small lie, about three pounds. Nailed. Single 3 0 BMX with a little strip of sand on the squid. So I thought I'd be having bites, but it's obviously weed. I'm not sure if you've seen me tap the weed off. Um, but as I was baiting up another rig, the rod just screamed off behind me. So yeah, so I'm going to put this in a rock pool. That rod's dropped slack, so yeah, get myself sorted. Yeah, sorry about that. As I was trying to sort another rig out, my rod screamed off behind me. It's a nice little small eye, probably three pound-ish, something like that. You know, you don't get massive small eyes down here. I think anything over seven, eight pounds a good fish for down here. Occasionally, occasionally you do get the odd double. My rod's going now, my spare other rod. I don't know if it's weed or a fish, but I just need to get these rigs baited up. Uh, yeah, like when we used to get the big small eyes, we're probably fishing like Stout Point, Summer House Point, Bobby Point, the Frog, Fonty, you know. I've had good doubles off of more. I think Fonty, I've added them to 12 pound or just a shade under. Um, my PB small ice, 13 pound, that was off um, the frog down Abathor. And I've added up to about 12 pound off stout as well. And I know a bigger, I know 15 pound is off stout. I think Mark Jones and um, Wayne McCoon's had a 15 pounder. So, what's that one? from uh, the rocks. Oh, rod's going. Yeah. Just about to see. 
could be one of two things. <laughs> a weed or a fish, or a weed fish. Oh, I hate rushing, but I've got to get baits in the water. Yeah, I don't think this is a fish. Tons and tons of weed. That was a lot of weed, a lot of weed. Um, my fault, I'm probably 50 yards away from the water. Um, and my line is pretty much going through the surf, so if I was next to the water, my tips were up high, it probably wouldn't be too bad. Or I remove the rod stand down and get closer to the water. small I first cast. Stunning little fish. Then we've got small mouths on the small eyes. Really small. Yeah, probably about three pounds. Lovely fish. so far. Two cars, two rays. Um, 
both on the left hand rod. Uh, not a sniff on the right hand rod, a minute I've cast it slightly up away from the other one as well. So the first one was on the top hook and the second one was on the bottom hook. Uh, I pray to get that double shot on camera in a day like being today. Wonder how long it'll take before the dogfish come through. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We all love the doggy. Oh, these are small baits. There's a group of women um, swimming. We must be nuts. About 200 yards to my left, so there's plenty of room. Simple, just single medium sand eel and a wrap of squid. Using um, six ounce lead, small bait. Nice breeze behind me, they're going miles. <laughs> I think it'll be hard work if I keep getting double shot to dogfish. See that guys? It's a spotted ray and a whiting on the top of nice double shot there. Eh? The rig's, rig's a bit tangled. We got a nice spotted ray on the bottom and got a whiting on the top. Absolute result. Tell you what, this is nice, nice fishing compared to slinging out. You know, I, I love my five foot pulleys and bigger baits for um, for blondes, but this is breaks it up a little bit. This is nice. I like this. Smaller hooks, smaller rigs, smaller baits. Mix it up a little bit. <laughs> Dogs chasing seagull. I say again, make sure if you're fishing places like this, your bait and your rigs are well away from the dogs. Oh, 
Oh, I'm loving this. I'm so glad I'm back. So glad. That big break away from sea fishing has done me the world of good. Slack. The thing is, because I got two single hooks on there, I don't want to rush the, the first bite. Because normally, if you've got a pulley rig on and up and over, as soon as you've got a bite, you want to be on it. But one of the main aims today was to get two rays on the same rig. So that's a fish. So I'm going to time it five minutes. See if we can get another one on there. Look at the sand, the sand over there. It's been about a good 10, 15 minutes uh, since I had that bite. As you can see now, the tide's about to push me onto the rocks, so I've moved my gear up. So I'm going to wind in that right hand rod, I had a bite on. Let's pray there's a double shot on it. Yeah, well there was actually a ray on there. I've seen it on the surface quite far out. And um, there was quite, quite a lot of weed on the line. So I was busy getting that off because it won't come from the tip no more. Pick the rod up, the fish is gone. You win some, you lose some. It's always going to happen at some point. Double shot of dummies. Wind's picked up, so I hope you can hear me. Bit of a situation here. Yeah. Could have been another one as a hole there. <laughs> right hand rod slack, left hand one ratchet's going. So I'm gonna get these in now and just pray, just pray there's not another double shot of dogs and there is actually a double shot of those. Look, right hand rod's dropped to the floor, left hand rod's going over. Cass 
this one back out and then get the other rod in because the ratchet is going on that one. I said it, was, it felt better than it was. A small eye, about five, six pounds maybe, and a doggy, and loads of weed. Oh my god. Mental. Well, it's a nice little small eye right on the bottom, and a doggy on the top. So, yes. Here we have another two small eyes. Um, this one was actually on his own, and this one was part of a double shot with a doggy. So I'm going to puddle now, let it revive. We have a break for five minutes. I've just put two fresh ones out. I've got two rigs I need baiting up. I've got two small eyes in a deep rock pool, nice and safe, just to get there. Energy back. Uh, yeah, it's fishing well. Um, to go by, I've got five small eyes, a spotted, three dogs, and a white. So that's more than I could have asked for. Especially in daytime in freezing cold easterlies. It was three degrees when I turned up this morning. Look at that, white hand rod. White hand rod to wait. I left the last two after the first initial bite, 10 minutes. Hoping to be double shot of rays. If it wasn't, there was a double shot of ray and a dog on one, and a single ray on the other. All right, I need to get these two baited up. You don't really get big fish down here. You get the occasional big eel. Your hounds, the odd double figure ray, bass, but it's nothing like Barry where you're getting 15, 20 pound plus fish quite often. Um, I knew he was using a loop rig. Uh, I've used loop rigs all my life, but for smaller stuff. Um, so this is just a beefed up loop rig I've made. Spent the last two late nights making them. Um, just 100 pound rig body and 60 pound snuds to three hooks. So yeah, it's nice and simple. 
I think I've caught enough fish for the camera today. But I'd love to have that double shot of rays now. That would, that would finish it off for me. I'd probably pack up and go home then. But if I don't, there's always next time. Again, single sand eel, wrap the squid. No need to overcomplicate it. But you know what? Probably my next blonde session, if I go somewhere clean like um, the Spit or Fonty, I'm going to use these lubricants and try and actually hook two decent blondes. Oh, that'd be a, that'd be a, tell you what, that'd be a scrap. Single sand eel. Wrap it in elastic first, around the eye and the knot, so it doesn't slide up on the cast or impact with the water. And then a little wrap of squid. Uh, left up or right hand rod is going over. See, there's a lot of weed again for oh, fish. I'd like to see some fish. Yeah, fishing's been hectic. I'm having a breather. My rigs are a mess. The dogfish are in force. But we're about four hours into the flood. I'm up the, pretty much at the very top now. Probably give it another hour or something like that. But so the one rod is still on the loop rig. Hoping for that double shot of rays. And the other rod, I put a three foot, 200 pound poly rig out with a 4.0 catfish hook and half a fresh whiting. And I literally just lobbed it, just past the rocks onto the sand. So might have a chance of a nice eel, bass, ray, or a doggy, doggy. We all love the doggy. So here it is. Three foot long. Seven ounce lead. 100 pound rig body. 60 pound snuds. Three OBMXs. Single sand eel and well, half a squid wrap on each one. That's it. Every single one today has stayed clipped up midair and every single one is released. So I am going to try this on the blondes. Down the spit, down Fonty. Yeah. Nice, I like it. That's a big uh, a big shout out to Lee Byrne. I think he's down Chesil, yeah, he's down Chesil at the moment. He's getting absolutely smashed by whiting. Um, he's had a few whiting bitten in half, and he lost a big eel, probably 25, 30 pound plus, at the water's edge. 
So yeah, big shout out to Lee for this. Legend Lee. This idea, like, basically, I use loop rigs anyway. I use them like on the green light for whiting and stuff, but we're talking 50 pound snuds, 25 pound uplinks, size two hooks, you know, stuff like that. So I made these up last night and the night before. Yeah, I've decided to knock it on the head now. All my stuff's packed away. It's about an hour, hour and a half to high, something like that. So, yeah. It's been good. I've enjoyed it. Not, I, really, I really have enjoyed it. I think it's something I'm gonna do a lot more of. Not so much down here, but if I go Witch's Point, I'm just going to use long loop rigs, three hooks, and then because you've got the one on the bottom for the ray anyway, so yeah, really enjoyed it. But the last two hours has been hard work with the doggies, but we all know when the doggies turn up, it's absolute nightmare. So I've managed five small eyes, one spotted, one white in. 20 doggies so, and dropped the ray in close as well so, and not lost a single hook I can guarantee you if I chucked out 5 O's on a pulley with a big bait I would have lost a few hooks pretty much every fish I've hooked on a 3 O would be bottom jaw 30 years sea fishing you know I'm willing to learn something new every day you know Lee Byrne told me step up the loop rigs, 3 -oh hooks, that's it. I was a bit, uh, maybe I should stick with 5 O's. <laughs> but, yeah, all credit to Lee, to Lee like, yeah. But, enjoyed it, I'm happy, I caught fish for you. Hopefully you'll enjoy the video. So, until the next time, in tight lines.